get started with the feeding shell. Um, quick disclaimer, if you saw my reptile show, it's going to be a lot of the same facts, but I'll try to throw out some stuff that I might have not said earlier in the show about an hour ago. So what you guys do see down here below me is North America's largest reptile, the American alligator. Now the American alligator is only one of two known alligator species in the entire world. The second being their slightly smaller cousin, the Chinese alligator. Now we do have Chinese alligators up there in the front of the park if you guys would like to see them as well, but they don't quite grow as large as the American alligator down here does. Now natively these guys are found in the southeastern part of the United States, from Texas all the way over to Florida up to the southern part of North Carolina. So yes, you can find them right here in your backyard in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Now they usually grow about 10 to 15 feet long or so and average in around 500 pounds. But those much larger, healthier males, like some of the ones we do have out here in the wildlife area, and some of the ones that we have in our maiden feeding pond, do grow closer to that 1,000 pound mark nearly half a ton. Now hopefully all of you guys might have heard that distinct little pop sound that that guy just made when he jumped out of the water and grabbed that food. Now most people think that that pop sound is due to those teeth smashing together. It's really not quite. It's due to the sheer jaw force that the animals have. These guys clock in around the third strongest bite force in the animal kingdom, around 2,000 pounds per square inch. Definitely strong enough to break any bone in your body, including your femur, your strongest bone. Now they do have quite a few teeth. They have about 80 teeth in their mouth at a time. And those teeth are constantly falling out and regrowing. They can go through about 3,000 of those teeth in their one lifetime. Now they usually live about 30 to 50 years or so, but once you raise them in captivity, you can add up to around 30 years onto their lifespan. So in the back of Crocodile Cove, we have Gramps, a Morlet's crocodile, who is over 70 years old. He's the oldest crocodilian we have in the park. Because he is so old, he really doesn't have very many teeth left in his mouth. But don't let that fool you because he definitely still has that ridiculously strong bite force. Now, late June, early July, that's typically when these guys do reproduce. A female American alligator usually lays between 30 to 50 eggs at a time in a single nest. Now, she does construct a physical nest. It's a little mound of dirt made up mostly of plant matter. Any of you guys out there who might be fans of gardening, you might know what happens when you put a bunch of decaying plant matter together. It makes a nice little compost pile. Now those compost piles, they do produce their own heat due to all those microbes decomposing in that compost pile. And that's exactly what the mama gator wants to happen. She makes her own personal compost pile that produces its own heat so she can keep her eggs warm. Now a pretty interesting thing about these guys is that believe it or not, the temperature inside that nest that those eggs are being incubated at is actually what determines whether or not they hatch out as male gators or female gators. Now overall lower temperatures in the nest, usually below 86 degrees, produce mostly females and higher temperatures above 91 produce mostly males. Now there is that sweet spot right there in the middle between 86 and 91 degrees that gives a nice 50-50 percentage split of male and female gators. And that temperature is roughly what the mother will shoot for out in the wild. And here at Alligator Adventure, anytime we incubate any of our eggs, that's what we shoot for as well to give us that nice half-half split of male and female gators. Now, something pretty unique about these guys that's not very common in the reptile world is that mother American alligators are actually very maternal animals. They will protect their nest, protect their babies uh, up to about a year or two with their lives. They get very aggressive. Now, typically speaking, American alligators are usually afraid of people. So really the only time you're gonna get attacked by an American alligator is if a mama is trying to protect her babies. She will definitely protect them as best as she can. So during that season, late June, early July, I definitely recommend being aware of your surroundings if you're an avid kayaker or swimmer around these parts. Now one of the most common questions we do get asked here at Alligator Adventure is what is the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Well the easiest way to tell that difference is by looking at the snout of the animal in question. So alligators like the ones down here below me, they have a much shorter, wider, more U-shaped snout. It's a lot more rounded up there at the end. 
Now, crocodiles, they have a much longer, slender, more pointed V-shaped snout. Another great way you can tell the difference between the two is by looking at their teeth. So alligators have a slight overbite. They have that nice, uh, nice little overbite going on. So you can only really see the teeth on their top jaw. It's pretty tough to see the teeth on the lower jaw of an alligator. Now crocodiles, they have that nice large toothy grin. You can see both the teeth on their upper and lower jaws at the same time. And you guys can feel free to test those drills out today as you are walking through the park to see if you can tell exactly what you're looking at. Now I am down to my last piece of food here, so hopefully I'll be able to get one more good jumper for you guys. Now a pretty interesting thing about alligators and crocodiles that most people don't know is that believe it or not, there's only actually one place in the entire world that you can find both alligators and crocodiles living together in the environment at the same place at the same time, and that's actually right here in the United States at the southern tip of Florida in the Florida Everglades. We have the American alligator and the American crocodile sharing the environment. Now, like I said, guys, that was all the food that I have for you today, so that is going to conclude the show. Thank you guys very much for coming out. Again, my name's Evan. If you guys have any questions for me or you just want to talk to me, feel free to catch me.